Creating in Apple Pages is great. You can make some beautiful documents, but sometimes you need to convert that document over to Microsoft Word. Maybe you've got a friend or colleague who only has Word and you need to get the document over to them. Well, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to do that and a couple of things to keep in mind. All right, first of all, I wanna show you just the how-to. Here's how to convert the Pages document to Word. And then I wanna share a few key considerations before you convert, just things to keep in mind when you do this. All right, so we'll go to Pages. Let's open up a document. I've got one here, and this is created in Apple Pages. And I'm gonna go up here to the File menu, and I'm going to click on Export to in Word. And there's a couple of options here, not many uh, require a password or not. So actually not a couple of options, just one option. And <laughs> you can hit save here. And um, I liked when I'm saving something in Word, I definitely like to put the file extension, docx, and then save it. All right, so here are a couple of things to consider when you convert an Apple Pages document into Word. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and put these up on the screen here. So the first thing to consider is formatting. Now, usually when you start up an Apple Pages document, you're doing it as a word processing document. So I'll click here in the document settings and you'll see uh, it says document body. That means this is a word processing document. Now things can get a little more tricky when you're converting to Word if it is a page layout document. So if we converted this, it would strip everything away and, and turn it into a page layout. If you did that and then try to convert it, I think your mileage will vary um, because then you're talking about a whole different type of documents, page layout. But for this example, we're using a word processing document. So, so keep that in mind, that will matter. Also, uh, there are some pages features that may not be supported in Word once you convert it over. Um, it's probably won't matter a whole lot, but there could be a couple of small things. This next one is a big one and it's fonts. So keep in mind, whenever you are creating an Apple Pages document and you wanna convert that to Word, you should be using the basic fonts, the, the, the simplest fonts that are going to be common among PC users and Mac users. And some of those reliable fonts are, you know, Arial, definitely. Um, I always stick to Arial when I'm doing something like that. When I'm converting something to Word for someone else, then you know they're going to be able to see it uh, the way that you intend it. If you use, you know, some kind of fancy font, um, you know, and try to send that over, that's not going to look right on their end. They won't prob probably won't have that font. You know, this is some crazy font I downloaded five years ago from somebody that's, you know, it's, it's, they're not going to have that. Um, so stick to normal fonts like Arial so that when it goes over, they'll be able to read it the same way you intended it to look. Then do keep in mind what version you are using. Just be sure you're using the latest version of pages. Um, and if the recipient is using an old version of Word, that could have an impact as well. Uh, you're saving it in when you convert it to docx, which is the newest version of Microsoft Word. If it's just .doc, you know, it might not look the same, might not come out right. So you want to ensure that everybody's using the latest version. Okay, last thing, whenever you do create this document, before you send it to the recipient, I recommend that you preview the converted document. And you can do that at office.com. Uh, I've got a separate video that shows you how to set up an account there. You could use Office for free on your Mac doing that. Um, and so go into Word there and let's upload the file we created. And by the way, you do need to make sure pop-up windows are allowed on office.com if you do this. So as this document comes up, you can see it's very similar. Everything looks almost exactly the way I intended it, except for the title up here. I had this centered with the image underneath. So you might have to do some, um, some editing there to, to move things around a little bit. I'm not going to get into that. Um, so that's why it's good to preview the document in Microsoft Word if you can't. 
So that's how you convert a document from Apple Pages to Microsoft Word. I hope that helps. Would love to have you as a subscriber and it always is appreciated anytime you can click that like button. Thanks, we'll see you on the next one.